are you in tutorial here in this video i'm going to talk about how i escaped tutorial here so if you're a new b developer you just got started with development you might have heard the term a whole lot called tutorial hell and it describes this time in your development journey where you can watch a tutorial follow along with it but when it comes to building something without a tutorial it becomes really really hard for you so that's what is described or is defined as tutorial hell and i've seen this quite a number of times a lot of people are complaining i'm in tutorial hell how do i get out of it what to do it it feels like this terrible sp space you don't want to be in and personally i have never had to experience tutorial hell and i want to tell you why and whatever you can take from this video and apply it to your own struggle to becoming a better developer so for me why i never experienced tutorial hell i will tell you i can attribute it to one thing which is to me tutorial hell is a symptom and it's also a phase it's like rent learning to ride a bicycle where there's a phase where they like you have training wheels and also maybe someone is holding it for you and all that that's what happens when you're learning to program or to do web development and you feel you're struggling i want to tell you not to take it too much to heart because it's a symptom to an underlying problem so what is the problem the problem is you do not know enough to start building applications or websites on your own and that's fine so oftentimes we come up with these unrealistic expectations of okay i want to be a javascript developer in six months three months or four months but it's like we forget that we spent like maybe two three four five years in school to learn a particular thing and you want to learn web development which is an entire industry in like a quarter of the time like in months we have to be realistic and know that you need to give it time these things take time and maybe you came from like a totally different background from sciences it will be new for you so if you cannot do products or websites on your own it's not a bad thing you just need to know how to learn and how to take the ideas that are in those videos for me when i watch a video or a tutorial i am thinking on the why all the time like why did the instructor do this and not that okay what happens if i don't do this what will change in the website so all those probing around and just questioning everything will help you understand scenarios and the context where you could use certain things that are in those tutorial videos you're watching so most times you just copy everything verbatim and that's why you're not going to understand when or why the instructor is using those ideas and those concepts so you need to take you don't need a plethora of videos to watch right you just need to take one maybe take a course and just go over it with time you can take one video in that course like two days and just keep going over it and try to come up with variations so when you can vary it like the problem and just say okay if i take this in isolation what can i do with it that's the thinking process is going to prompt your mind to start assimilating context and when to use certain ideas you see in those videos and you could do this with anything you could go up to a website and just say okay how do i make this button because these are real world problems right because it's been applied already like there's a website that has a button and you're doing front-end development you'll be like okay how do i make this button and of course it's the web right you can always view source and you can learn okay oh in this context these are the css that was used okay if i take out the css is, is it going to change the shape of the button or the looks of the button all this why and probing and experimentation is needed because when you watch 
tutorials absent mind deadly you never get anything from it you need to be involved you right so there's this fake um appeal to like okay i built everything in the video and yes i am good no that's not what you want you don't want to copy everything you want to break it down you want to take your time and that is how you can escape tutorial hell at least that's how i, I have done it all right so i've not had a time where I, it's like okay i've always been stuck in the video no when i watch videos i'll like think on it i ponder on it i try to to take out something from it or i watch a video and i do an adjacent projects all together that has nothing to do with the video just to like separate and get me involved okay like i want to do something this is the idea that was shared in this video and this is how i can apply those ideas to something else you need to find the applicability of the ideas you are learning from tutorials and not just copying everything in those videos that's why you you are in tutorial hell and that's why you feel it's difficult to build projects on your own I'm talking about building projects that's the best way to to learn programming or web development is you keep building if you keep watching these videos you keep having different people's ideas and concepts you get confused but when you take a project it doesn't matter what it is no matter how small it is you take a project and you start trying to finish the project you look for help online you look for help for video but it's your project it's your idea so you could take those videos and apply to that then over time make sure you are taking notes it's very important it's you are involved do not give in to the false confidence that says you've built something for watching the video and you pat yourself in the back and all that that's not the point the videos are your training wheels all right they are your they're there to hold your hands as you're learning as you're just getting started it's totally fine to do all that but you want to move on to the next phase right which is riding the bike by yourself which is and you've learned because you've been practicing you've understood the concept you've understood the why because the why is always important like why am i going to use this and where should i use it not just what to use it's the why all right so you're learning the why by watching those instructors in those videos in those courses or youtube videos whatever you're there to glean as much as possible so you become better you move on to the next stage which is you can come up with ideas by yourself because you've been practicing you've understood you've been studious you need to study all right you don't just need to watch the videos and do do the task in those videos you need to take it the extra mile understanding those tasks and how to apply them so that's how i i escaped tutorial hell and i hope it's gonna help you do that as well okay so thank you for watching this video and um one last thing do like and subscribe if you like this video and so, so, subscribing to the channel helps the channel reach more people and i'm totally going to be grateful for you subscribing so yeah thank you and see you in the next one